Hello everyone, today is a Coach Vintage Bag Review. A Coach Vintage Bag Review. Hi angels, so yeah, if that's something that you're interested in, then go ahead and keep on watching. Remember to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up, as well as subscribe to the channel if you like vintage coach videos. So yeah, let's go ahead, let's jump right in. Today we're gonna be talking about the Vintage Coach Stewardess Bag, the Patricia Legacy Bag, and the Coach City Bag. If that's something that you're interested in then go ahead let's keep on watching so the first bag that we're going to talk about is this coach stewardess bag the coach stewardess bag style number is 9525 it sold at one time it back in 1987 it sold for $146 over the years the prices um, just like with any other contemporary or with any other Lux company, just like with Louis Vuitton, over the years, over the different years, the different prices of the coach bags, you know, increased, coach had increases just like any other company. But back in 1987, at one point in time, the vintage stewardess bag sold for $146. The dimensions are 11 inches by nine and three fourth by four inches. The next bag that I want to talk about is the coach Patricia Legacy Bag. The style number for the Coach Patricia Legacy Bag is 9951. 9951. The dimensions of the Patricia Legacy Bag are 11 and a half inches by 10 inches by 4 inches. At one point in time, the Patricia Legacy Bag sold for $268. Back in 1996, the Patricia Legacy Bag sold for $268. This Patricia Legacy bag is often confused with the classic shoulder bag. The classic shoulder bag style number is 9170. A lot of people confuse the Patricia bag with the classic shoulder bag. The classic shoulder bag is a little smaller in dimension. The, dim the dimensions of the classic shoulder bag are 10 inches by 8 inches by 3 and a half inches, as well as the Patricia Legacy bag has a back interior pocket. It also has a slip interior pocket when you open the bag under the flap and it has an interior zip pocket on the Patricia Legacy bag. The classic shoulder bag only has an interior zip pocket. It doesn't have that additional uh, slip pocket under the flap when you open the bag. So the Patricia Legacy bag is larger than the classic shoulder bag. Next we have the city bag. The city bag... So yeah, you guys, I wanted to talk about these bags in my collection today, and I want to go ahead and give you guys a little glimpse at the interior of each bag. So here we have the city bag, the leather on these bags. First of all, I want to say that the black is so luxurious in the vintage coach bags. The black leather is so milky and creamy. And these are all, when you see a vintage coach bag, you know, these are examples of, they're the original bags, but they're examples because over the years, each bag has different flaws and none of them have, has lasted the same. For instance, I'll give you an example. Okay, this Patricia bag right here. I've owned several over the years. At one point, I had a bunch of these, at least four, and I, I got rid of some of them. Um, this one that I have still in my collection right here, what I like about this one, why I decided to keep this one out of the other ones that I had, sometimes at different points, um, just based on, you have to think, these are vintage bags, and at some point, another lady carried the bags, the original bags, not you. Now that we, you know, you know unless you have your original bag, but if you bought a bag pre-loved or you, you found one at a consignment store or a thrift store and you rehabbed it and now you're using it in your own collection, they have different flaws. Sometimes that original person will, you know, have stuffed the bag, may have stuffed the bag a little bit too much and the leather stretches. So sometimes you just like right here, you see how I have a little bit of a belly, how the bag has a little bit of what I'm gonna call quote unquote a belly. You see how it protrudes a little bit right here. All of the vintage leather bags to some extent are gonna have a little bit of, a, and even when you wash and condition a bag and reshape it, you're gonna reshape it and it's gonna help, but it's never gonna be, you know,
know, if, if the bag was heavily worn at some point, even when you reshape it, sometimes it's going to still have what I call a little bit of a belly. Now, this one is a very nice one in my opinion because it hasn't distorted the shape of the bag. You see how from the side angle, from the side view, the bag still you know, has its shape and with the flap, you don't see that. You don't see that little pudge. And I mean, these bags are over 50 years old. So think about it. I mean, at over 50, who isn't going to have a little bit of a, of a belly pudge, you guys? So you see how you don't really see it and it doesn't really alter the shape of the bag. One of the other Patricia bags that I had in my collection, the reason I got rid of it is because that this area of the bag was so heavily stuffed by the original owner that it really pudged that area out you know she probably had a ton you know her wallet and some other things at times she must have carried in this front flap and it really forced the bag out and even when i reshaped it it still had too much of a pudge for me and you know the bag when you set it down it wasn't a clean stand like this one the bag was kind of when you would set it down because it was fat it kind of smushed like that i don't really care for that so i got rid of that one and i prefer to keep the shape of this one that has you know a better shape for example i'll give you is this city bag right here that i have now i love this city bag and she's not going anywhere in my collection but i did want to show you how this one has a little bit more of a tummy you see how this one has a little bit more of a belly pudge right there what i call a belly pudge <laughs> so yeah you guys i just wanted to show you you see how she has a little bit more of that not enough for me to get rid of her this one isn't going anywhere i love this bag in my collection but i just wanted to show you guys that sometimes that will happen with the vintage bags with the vintage coach bags they'll have a little bit of a you know um fat area from it's leather it's leather and leather stretches so that's going to happen over time and then i wanted to just show you guys with the patricia bag this is the extra compartment that I'm speaking of that the Patricia ha bag has. It has that extra compartment right here. And I do have my bag stuffed, but it has that extra compartment right here. And then it also has an interior zip. So the classic shoulder bag does not have this extra compartment along the back flap of the bag. It doesn't have that interior back compartment like the Patricia Legacy bag does. So yeah, and then the, they both have a flap under the front pocket and they both don't have any flap or any pocket along the back of the pocket. So uh, along the back wall, they both don't have a pocket back there. So, but they do look very similar, but this bag is larger. The Patricia bag is larger. And all I can say is that like, uh, like I said, these bags have such a smooth leather the leather is so smooth and consistent it's so milky and smooth looking they're so rich and milky looking and um they're just beautiful bags the leather is remarkable on these then we have the stewardess bag and i just wanted to say the same thing beautiful bags they sometimes they you know the stewardess bags just like the others are going to this one you see as well sometimes they're gonna you know they're gonna be a little bit rolled or you know, whatever, based on how they were carried over the years, but they're all beautiful bags. All of the bags have adjustable straps, the stewardess bag, the Patricia legacy bag, as well as the city bag. They all have adjustable straps. However, the, um, the city bag does not have a removable strap. It's just adjustable. It, the city bag does have an adjustable strap. However, it's not a removable strap. So yeah, you guys, these were the beauties that I wanted to share with you today. The Vintage Coach Stewardess Bag, the Coach Patricia Legacy Bag, as well as the Coach Vintage City Bag. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. But yeah, you guys, I love these Vintage Coach Bag videos, and I have playlists on Vintage Coach on my channel. Basically, it's me, my husband, my family, and then Vintage Coach, you guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you again soon in another video.